I just want to say I am excited because I know that God is on the move calling out his people. And the, the conference name Roar was birth it. Mar- Margie got that, that word that this was the name of the conference, Roar. She goes, that, I, that's all I got was just the name. I don't have anything else. And uh, I said, okay. So she goes, so we're having the conference. So I had gone down to Florida and with a, a minister friend, and we were praying. And the Spirit of God, you know, when the Spirit of God comes on you, forget it. I mean, you know it's God and God speaking. And I know that I know it was God speaking. And I saw, I had a vision. And I saw Jesus on a white horse. And in front of Jesus were the believers. But in Revelation, it says that the people are behind the Lord. But those are the people that are already in heaven. We're going to go forth before the second coming of Christ. Hallelujah. And God is getting us ready. And that's why we're here today. And so all the believers were standing in front of Jesus on this white horse, linked, arm in arm. We were all in unity. And everybody was just linked like this and marching forward. And the Spirit of God, he just spoke and he said, There is a mighty roar in heaven. There is a mighty roar in heaven. And I I kept saying that out of my mouth. And he said, the believers are going to go forth like flames of fire in this earth. And I am going to manifest myself. And it's gonna, they're going to look at them and say, they have never seen anything like it. They're going to be in awe, in awe of what God is going to do. Because miracles and signs and wonders through the hands of the believers, just like Pastor Angel said last night, she was speaking and said, it's not the fivefold ministry. God is calling all of us. We all have a part in this in this end time. Whether it's in the workplace, I tell you, I can't tell you when I was in the workplace how many times God moved on me to minister to somebody. But we just need to be open. We need to hear what God is saying when he when we're there in that situation. I know I missed it uh, last week. I was in this place and this young boy, I said, oh, I see you're eating healthy. He said, I have no choice. I have such bad reflux. And I said, oh, yeah, you know, I had that and blah, blah, blah. And I walked out of there, and the Spirit of God said to me, why did you lay hands on him? Instead of talking about the problem and your problem, instead of laying hands on him so I can heal him. And I said, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going to lay hands on him because I know God is able. But we need to be bold enough to take that stand. Do we believe it? Absolutely. But like Angel said last night, you need to take that step. you got to take that step. Hallelujah. But anyway, in Revelation, it talks about Jesus on the white horse. And do you know what it says? That he is faithful and true. And that his eyes are a flame of fire. A flame of fire. I tell you, I can't tell you how many times that word is coming. I I said to Margie, your eyes are like a flame of fire. And then I was reading, Jesus' eyes are a flame of fire. And he wears many crowns on his head. Hallelujah. He is faithful and true. And you know, the Bible says in Revelation, it said, and his name is the word of God. God's word will never fail us. His word has never failed us. And that's what we're speaking out of our mouth. And in Joel, it said, the Lord also shall roar out of Zion, his church. Hallelujah. And the heavens and the earth shall shake. So get ready, people. Are you ready? God wants to use every believer. Don't sit down and think, I don't have any part in this. God needs everybody, like a mighty army linked together, going forth in this time. So people rise up inside today. God's going to minister to everyone here. You have a calling by the Almighty God. And He is saying, Lift up your hands. 
Open your mouth and go forth in power and demonstration. For I am the Lord that is with you. I go with you. He'll not leave you. He'll not forsake you. If you're bold enough to say, God can heal you, and you're bold enough to open your mouth, God will back you up with his word. For his word is truth, his word is light, and his word is healing to all of those. So people, let's get bold today, hallelujah, as the spirit of God ministers teach and every one of us. I can't wait to hear what everybody has to say today, what the Spirit of God has to say. If you're here today to listen to a man, you're going to be very disappointed because man will never give you what God can give you. And in one minute, God can change your world. In one minute, you can go to counseling for 10 years. And what counseling can do in 10 years, God can do in one minute. But you need to open up your heart to the living God. Don't open your heart to Margie or to Marcia or to Angel. You have to open your heart to God. Those are servants of the living God who he is using to speak through in this hour. But he is the one. He is the faithful one. He is the almighty God who answers and delivers us. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, hallelujah. For more teachings and videos like this, visit margieflorent.org.